Maybe you could repeat that for the camera. So I just want to make sure we're right, but it's, it's October 12th, um, Maywood Country Club, 6.30 is the tip-off dinner. Okay. Yeah, so, so kind of talk about it uh, as we get closer uh, to practice uh, in the season. Uh, talk about the importance of this dinner, why you guys have it, and all that good stuff. Well, the men's and women's basketball team combine their efforts with our tip-off dinner. It's going to be at Baywood Country Club. It should be a great night. It's uh, outreach for the uh, community. You know, our, our community uh, meet our players, and our players meet the community. And, and it's a kind of a meet and greet situation where you can really get a hands-on one-on-one -on -one with all, all the players, men and women, and, and all the staffs, the new coaching staffs. We have a new coach, uh, Coach Mendoza is back in town, and it's a great way to reconnect with him and, and hear about all the hype and excitement that we have for this upcoming basketball season. Yeah, for you guys, along with the, the new coaches, also a lot of new players, and obviously for the fans, a good chance to kind of one-on-one -on -one get, get to meet uh, the, these, uh, these new players on the roster. Yeah, it is. Uh, we do have nine new basketball players for the men's basketball program, so it's exciting. We got a lot of fresh new faces and very talented group, hardworking group. Through September, we've been training uh, diligently, and I'm very proud of their work ethic and the way they're showing up and are working hard every day. We have a very difficult schedule. This preseason schedule is like none other that we've had in recent history at Humboldt State. It's going to be a, a, a big challenge going down to the Disney Classic down in Anaheim, playing two uh, two teams from Florida and one team from Iowa, and they've all been nationally ranked recently in the last five years. So they're very good basketball programs, ourselves included, coming down there and, and uh, getting off uh, to a quick start, a tough start down there as far as uh, the schedule. And then we're back home against uh, Simpson College, and then we play Chico State, which is really what we're looking at, uh, trying to peak early and, and be ready for Chico State to come here on November 18th. How important is this once practice does officially start, knowing that your coaching staff, a lot of your players, not like you know, there's five returning stars or seniors, but uh, a lot of uh, a lot of new guys, coaching staff added with that. So how important is it just to kind of get everything uh, together? Well, I think, you know, I've been at this for quite a while, and I think the patience level from the coaching staff needs to be heightened. You know, we need to be able to be patient with them through the training process, through the early practices, and, and obviously early games where you get very tough opponents. And even more important, the players need to be patient with themselves, whether they're a new player, a returning player, or a, a captain on the team. We all need to be patient and understanding that there's going to be mistakes made. And uh, it's just a matter of if they're out there playing and, and a mistake's made, it's, it's the next play syndrome. You just have to cleanse yourself from that mistake and, and move on and don't finger point and, and understand that things are going to be all right. We're a talented group, and, and as long as we work hard, we'll be successful. And yeah, you guys uh, you lose some talented guys, but I'm sure recruiting-wise, and let's face it, recruiting not the, the easiest thing to, to bring players uh, you know, up here. And, but, uh, do you, do you feel like, you've, I mean, we haven't played a game yet, but do you feel like, you know, you have the players that can contribute right off the bat and, uh, you know, compete for, you know, a CC to a title? Yeah, we, the recruiting process at Humboldt State is, is unique. Um, it's just our location and the difficulty to go out and see players as much as other coaches. But uh, when we have weather like we do this week, and you know, we've got beautiful beaches and, and forests and, and great people in this community, you can really hit our home run. So timing's always an issue with recruiting. Uh, we feel like we've done a really good job this last spring and then over the summer months on, on reloading our roster. I like the kids, I like their character. Uh, they certainly are playing hard and training right at this point. So it looks good and we're excited about it. There it is. Thank you. Thank you.